Hi, this is Washina on behalf of the Symphony Room, and today I wanted to talk about stress. What does stress do to your body? Let me tell you one thing. Um, being that I've been practicing massage since I was five years old, yes, five years old, people like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Um, it's called, when I was five years old, I remember laying down behind my mom's legs and massaging her to go to sleep because I would take the coldness. You know how when you're cold on your legs, I would feel that coldness and I would warm it up. And by the time I felt, I, I kept warm, you know, massaging my mom's legs, that's when I went to sleep. Yeah, them nice days with Lucinda, yeah. But for the most part, after that, it was um, having a session with my grandmother. My grandmother was a bus driver. She drove buses for Hillsboro County Systems. And as a bus driver, if you know a bus driver and that bus drivers are driving your, your, stu your, your students or they're driving your kids back and forth, give them a massage session. Do you know how much tension is in their shoulders and their back and their legs is so tight? Cause they gotta hold the bus. They gotta move that thing around. So my grandmother was doing all of that. Most of the time when she came home, she was just like, oh, somebody get my shoulder. Somebody, oh, my shoulder hurt. I was like, I got you grandma, I got you grandma, I got you. Oh, my leg, my hip, my hip, my hurt, it hurt. I was like, I got you grandma, let me get that, my grip, I got that. And then, you know, from um, those big, huge um, pedals, you got to push them things. You got a whole bunch to push. You got to hold on, brief it, you know, brace yourself and stuff. So her foot, we, foot, you know, her feet would always hurt. And that's why with me, it was okay for me to touch people's feet because I'm like, yo, touch my grandma's feet all the time. Like, feet is a feet. Foot is a foot. Toes are toes. I mean, you know, some people got some jacked up feet and jacked up toes. I would be one because my feet are jacked up most of the time. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know. It is what it is. But let me tell you, the reason why I actually created this video is to talk about stress and what happens in your body when it comes to stress. And I've been seeing this throughout the years and throughout, um, you know, the new newer people coming. And most of the time I could actually tell if a city or is stress going throughout the city because people just, I was just like, oh my gosh, everybody smoking cigarettes around this piece? Oh my gosh, what is going on with everybody? Like, and you see, I see, sometimes I see people about to break down and I was just like, Sheena, don't do it, don't touch them. Cause I don't be knowing what they be dealing with. But sometimes I be just like, let me, let me save a joker real quick. But, um, you know, I've learned to mind my own business mind my own business but it's just like when i'm out usually i don't want to be doing massages i want to live so stress what happens with stress stress actually creates a chemical in your system and that chemical stores in your system for a while and that's why to me that when people um go to get these stress they have almost like a breakdown and that's because those chemicals are starting to release in the system. So if you know someone that is stressed, that's always stressed, make sure they're taking enough magnesium. I am not a doctor. Hello. I am not a doctor, but I know that the body relaxes. Magnesium is a muscle relaxer and what happens is if your body doesn't have enough magnesium, your muscles will be really tight. But then you know what else is? Uh, see what happened. It's not always going to come up on the test results. I'm not a doctor, by the way. As I said again, I'm not a doctor. But usually you can detect when someone is magnesium deficient because their joints are tight or they have stiffness. So if you are stiff and you know you're stiff, you might be mineral deficient. What minerals do you need in your body? Everybody's body is different. Do you even know your blood type? But we're gonna go back to stress. So when you have stress or you're in a high stressful job, knowing that you're in a high stress job is called HSA. It's called Health Savings Account. If you have a, a, a health savings account, 
I do accept health savings account. I do accept it. I do accept health savings account. Why did I accept it? Because they pay you. Um, not only that, so if you got an HSA account, health savings account, you need your doctor's note saying, yo, this pay, um, that patient, the client, well, they call you a patient. So the patient is stressed. She needs massage. Um, she, you know, let your doctor explain, you know, write you out a referral or whatever. And, you know, let that back up what you're doing. Like you're doing this for because, you know, because of the stress. And when you're doing it because of the stress, um, usually there is a validation, value added validation for your approval of your health savings account. So with your health savings account, what also you could do is um, just basically use it. Schedule your massage sessions. Buy a package. I have packages. I do have packages. Um, so what happens is if you're in a high stress job and you've been doing this high stress job for three months, six months, there, it all depends. If you're managing your stress, if you are not managing your stress, there is a possibility that you might be on the verge of a stroke. Why I, um, I'm saying this is because the strokes have been on the increase with high stressful type of jobs. Can I say this again? Did you hear me? If you have a high stressful type of job, high stressful type of career, you are making enough money to take care of your stress. You need downtime. So one day you need self-care day. Your self-care day or what your um what they call it nowadays. Most companies are saying that they're interested in wellness. I believe in wellness because massage is a part of wellness. It doesn't inc include everything about wellness, but your company, if they're interested in um wellness, go ahead and have them send me an email. I'll come by to the office and do little short massages. You know, de-stress the whole crew. And then you guys go about your own little meeting, like, man. And then you have something to connect with. Like, yeah, man. I was, she massaged my neck. And then he, he stretched me out. Oh, my God. I got a team. I have a team. So, you know, you when you, you stressed out, your mind and your thoughts, when you make it know, okay. So, if you're in a high-stress position, if you're making those decisions, your mind needs to be clear, your mind, your thoughts. So how does it become clear? Everything that's going on within you emotionally is being stored in your muscle system. Each muscle, each organ stores your emotions differently and how your body handles anger. It, your whole body could be angry. And you're like, I'm not angry. Why are you snapping then? Why are you snapping? So if you see somebody snapping and you see somebody mad, they, pent, they got some pent up anger that need to be released. Because, you know, when you have um, your releases, you'll be so nice and beautiful. Like, life is good, you know. Whatever. Go ahead and handle it. That's because you're, you know, you're relaxed. But if you're handling your stress the wrong way and you're snapping, you're making decisions and they're not the right decisions. Constantly making the wrong decisions. You have to recheck you know, go ahead and recheck your mind, body, and soul. You have to do some really self-care. Sometimes that requires you to detach from reality, detach from society just for a moment. And then when you come back, you be like, do I really want to be doing this? Do I really want? And that's one of the things that the pandemic actually caused everybody to actually rethink about what they are actually doing. Like, I do I really want to clock in at 95? Do I really need the full 95 shift? Or do I want to do 95 Tuesday through Wednesday or Tuesday through Friday and have the rest of the weekend for my family. But, you know, everybody has their own choices. Life is about choice. But one of the things, if you're experiencing a lot of stress, you need to figure out a way to be stressed. Now, there are different ways that you can be stressed. You can do yoga. 
And um, there's other things that you can do to de-stress. Um, there's all these exercises out here. But I could tell you, if you're doing a lot of exercise, especially like the high intensity um, exercises, they actually bring more stress into your system. That's why you have to release the stress off the joints and you'll be able to perform better. But that ain't none of my business to be telling y'all that. It is my business telling y'all that. But um, sometimes nobody's listening. So hmm, you've heard it here. This is what you know on behalf of the symphony room. If you're handling stress, go ahead drink a warm thing of hot water at night it'll settle you a little bit and if you need it chamomile if you're not allergic to it um just you got to figure out what's causing the stress frozen shoulder what's causing the stress all these issues syndromes autoimmune diseases what's causing the stress but you know what you know what let me mind my business because, you know, I am not a doctor. I am just washing up on behalf of the Symphony Room and team. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe to their channel. And don't forget, the link is in the bio. Go ahead and book your session. And, you know, I have some online courses. I do have online courses. Go ahead, click the link in the bio. Bye.